In this tutorial, I'm going to show you string variables and pictures. String variables are another variable type. I showed you variables, and you know, you got A through Z, and you also got uh, this weird little Greek letter. Right here, I have the TI-83 Plus Flash Debugger. This this is a free software in the, um, for the SDK for the TI developers. Um, I'll put a link to this in the description. You can download this right from the Texas Instruments site for free. But it's another little emulator. I kind of like this one a bit better than TI Smart View. But um, I showed you like how we have A through Z and this little Greek letter here as our um, this one as our variables well there's another variable there's string variables string variables are variables that hold text rather than just numbers I'm going to show you those um, if we click the vars button and go down to string you can see we have str1 through 0 and um, 1 2 3 4 5 that's 10 you can store 10 strings you may be wondering why would I want to store strings of text as a variable and I'll show you something we can do with them let's say disk password and then we can say input str1 and then I can say and I'm going to move the string dog actually I want to put it in quotes and put send to str2 I want to say if str1 equals str2 then um, disk um welcome else dis denied end so what that's going to do it's going to it lets you type in a string rather than a number and it's going to send do the string dog to str2 strings are just text like i said before strings are all in quotes so then if string 1 equals string 2 meaning if the what you type in is equal to dog then it's going to say welcome, but if it's not, it's going to say denied. So that's like a little password thing. Now we can stop this. Whoops. If you're using the TI-83 flash debugger, if you, you've got to click this little R right here, and you can load in your files. Now play. I like this because it's a lot faster. So you look test. I'm going to say password. I want to say hi. Denied. Password. I want to say lol. Denied. Password, I want to say dog, and it's going to say welcome. So that's string variables. Just want to show you those real quick. They're pretty useful for um, getting user input. If you want them to put in exact strings instead of just numbers. Now, if we remove this, I want to show you something else. I don't really have to show you this much in um, the code. I could just type this in on the calculator and show you. Um, so this is pictures. Now let's say I say draw line at 0, 0 to 10, 10 on the graph. As you can see, it draws a line. Now let's quit. And I'm going to go ahead and turn these axes off so you can see it better. Catalog. axis off. Now when I look at my graph, let me draw that line again. Um, draw line 0, 0, 1, comma, or no, 10, comma, 10. There's my line. And now if any time I look at my graph, I can see that line. Now I'm going to show you pictures real quick. If I write the command, um, if I go to second program, I go into draw and I go into store. If I use store pick, I can draw, I can, um, write a number zero through nine. I can store ten pictures. Let's say I type three. And as you see, it doesn't really do anything. But let's say I clear my graph. Let's use clear draw. And now I look at my graph again, now nothing's in it. But if I go to store, if I go to recall pick and I type in 3, that line's back. So 
that's all I want to show you. You can store and recall anything you draw. You can for store pick. You can write the um zero through nine. You could store and recall up to nine or up to ten pictures, and they'll save them as like picture files for the calculator name. Um, and they'll actually save them in a variable, and those variables are that's another variable type I'm going to show you real quick. I go to vars um, picture picture right here pick one through zero these are all picture variables so if you so this is good for making backgrounds for like applications or games or something because recalling a screen is probably the fastest way you're ever going to draw um, a screen like if I tried to draw it pixel by pixel a huge like scenery it would take a little while and you'll see it actually trying to draw it but if I recall the picture that I saved before it will recall it extremely quickly so that recall and save pick those are something you may use a lot 